The Iowa Hawkeyes, my name is David Wiederhaft. Alongside me, my good friend, Brendan Gorham. As we get set for tip at half court, this one, we tipped around and won by the Purdue Boilermakers. She comes off the br she comes off the bench and brings a spark of buckets. Today, Terry finding Madison Layden, nice entry pass. And Madison Layden after a, that ball goes out of bounds off the hands of Caitlin Clark. As she'll inbound that one. And find her teammate McKenna Warnock. Clark playing a lot of minutes per game, played all 40 minutes in the Hawkeyes' li last matchup as a nice baseline drive there from Kate Martin. Multiple teammates said, they said it's inevitable, inevitable that Caitlin Clark is going to score. What they have to do though is limit the rest of the team. This year, 24%. 24%? That is a huge decrease in percentage. A nice runner off the pass. In transition now, Clark against tough defense. Wow. But finding the open teammate in the lane. As a passer and playmaker. Pretty well offense. Trying to get some rhythm started to Abby Ellis. Both these teams finding su success inside. As short range jumper for Sonano. Sonano, Bornmakers can't convert on the baseline inbound. As Caitlin Clark going to work against Layden. Tough drive in the wow. lane and gets her first bucket of the evening. Taiwo. Unable to get that shot. Nice entry pass in transition. McKenna Warnock. She is, she, once, once she gets going, it opens up a lot of other things for this offense. Inside is Monica Sonano. That's Terry trying to work around this Purdue offense. Pick and roll off to Woltman. Woltman, Woltman, excuse me, right side. Gets it up and in. The pick and roll game. Something that they like using Ricky Woltman in. Brooke Moore now on the other end. And Brooke Moore! The spark plug gets the basket and the foul. And she said that uh, she does a really good job accepting that role. Moore is the leading returning scorer. Boilermakers on the other end. Harden off to Moore. Moore nearly a travel there. Finding Abby Ellis. Ellis oh. the dish off to Woolman inside. Oh. <laughs> Under the basket inbound, Rokia Dumbia tries to get it up. Ricky Woolman, the offensive rebound, and gets it in. Really seeing the development of Ricky Woltman. She's got four points, two for two from the field in this first half, but on the other end, Caitlin Clark coming right back down. Offensive rebound, check it. Woolman has six points on three for three from the field as Brooke Moore will launch this one from way downtown, and Brooke Moore buries the triple. Marshall having 6.6 points per game now, an inside pass. Finding Caitlin Clark inside in this first half as a bad inbound pass is corralled by Janae Terry for Purdue. She'll find Layden in transition. Layden knocks down the three from the top of the key. As Terry will slow things down, driving in from left to right, stopping and spinning. Janae Terry up and under and gives the Boilermakers the lead. From three-point land, like we said, only shooting 24% on the year and not really having her way today as Layden, the free throw line jumper. You saw their Iowa head coach, Lisa Bluter, she was yelling at her team for directions, what she wants them to do, but. The teams exchange turnovers and Gabby Marshall for the Hawkeyes, 28-25. As Abby Ellis finds herself wide open in the near side corner and Abby Ellis. Fires in the three, and the Boilers respond, tying things up inside pass now, right away to Sinano, and she's right there. She's got 12 points in Iowa. And Brendan, it looked like Brooke Moore might not have realized the shot clock was dwindling down, and she really had to fire that one up as Sinano, once again inside. And she's taking over this game. She'll go to the line for one more free throw. So nearly hitting that average in the first half. Once again inside, Sinano again. She's got 17. It's a seven point lead for the Hawkeyes. 
behind the arc today as we're underway in this second half. Hawkeyes start off with the ball. And Kate Martin will start off with the scoring. Layden now inside, finding Janae Terry. Working her way inside, nice feed inside. From far away range, can't get it. Woolman tracks down the rebound. And now Ellis left all alone, forgotten about in the left corner. It tickles the twine in that first quarter. Is that three off the mark, but rebound tracked down for the Boilermakers and Sonano, or excuse me, the Hawkeyes. And Sonano finds Clark driving in the lane. Shane Terry, two for six. On the evening as Harden, she'll let that one fly. She can't find it, but Terry once again tracking down the rebound. She'll find on this squad elected by head coach Katie Gerald to the start of the year. You see this matchup right here, Dumbia versus Clark. It's Clark once again. Clark stopping, she's got 14 points inside to Sonano once again. Up ahead to Moore. Moore driving in, fast pace. Gets the bucket and the foul. They might come back and review that just to make sure it got off in time. Ellis now driving in on the other end. As a bucket, 49 to 42. And a wide open Toby Tywo now. Inside for the Hawkeyes, these teams exchanging baskets. Nine point lead, 51 to 42, shot clock. Dipping now inside five, give it to Sonano. And basically a sure thing in this match. Look at how calm she is. Look at how calm she plays. Inside of Sonano again. How did she get that to go in? Monica Sonano. It's a 55 to 42 lead for the Hawkeyes. As Abby Ellis, a step back free throw line jumper, finds the bottom of the net. Ava Learn only the was ranked the 153rd player in the nation and the number 41 guard in high school. So Cassidy Harden bombs away from three. Her first triple of the night. Directing traffic. Monica Sinano once again out of the game for the Hawkeyes. A nice entry pass inside, and Martin will get the hoop and the harm. She's headed to the free throw line for an and one. Action back underway here at Mac Arena as Caitlin Clark gets the inbound amidst the full court trap and she'll drive in and get the bucket inside the paint. You gotta imagine if the boardmakers have one final push, they need to get something going now as Abby Ellis will pull up and she'll sink. A long two from Abby Ellis on the full court press, leaving Marshall wide open. For the Hawkeyes, looks like the Boilermakers kind of miscommunication off the press. And she puts up a pretty mean stat line of 18 points, 4.6 rebounds, and 6.3 assists with 33.8 minutes a game. So, Brooke Lute. Moore nets in the three. Persistent with that full court press as Clark gets around the defense, bounce pass into Sinano, who gets it up and in. So it's not just Cassidy Harden with shooting struggles. He's driving it to Nate Terry. Dishes it out to Ava Learn. Facing IU as a coach. As Janae Terry driving in, won't go. Ava Learn, the offensive rebound, the and one. And you see the energy, the excitement on her face. Taiwo tracking down the rebound for the Hawkeyes. And that'll be all she wrote here from Mac Arena, Iowa. Getting a big time road win here. Oh, 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 oh,